Sometimes in life you stumble across stuff that's so cool you want to tell everyone about it very quickly. So that's what we've got today. A first look at a plugin that I've just discovered that lets you create horizontally scrolling websites. It's completely free, easy and quick to use and uses Gutenberg blocks to set it up. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. Here's a few nice examples of horizontally scrolling websites. Typically how these work is you scroll down and as you scroll down, they actually scroll not vertically, but horizontally like so. This is really elegant. And you see how the slides are actually kind of overlapping each other. This has got this like parallax effect on it. And our plugin today can do something a little bit like this. Here's another nice example. Again, we're scrolling vertically in this one and also horizontally at some point. This is another nice clean example. I think this is really elegant. What's nice about this one is you can interact with all these uh, links on the pages here. And we can do that. You can imagine you could do these with Gutenberg blocks and you can in the plugin I'm about to show you. And then here's another example, another whizzy horizontally sliding one. I've got sort of mixed feelings on horizontal sliding websites. They're really, really cool in some ways. I think they're great um, to tell stories actually. That's where they really shine. Or if you've got a portfolio you want to show off, I think then they really I mean, this is beautiful, it looks fantastic. You get this snazzy cursor effect. And then here's the one that I built, and I just built this very quickly. Uh, these images, by the way, are using Mid Journey AI, so those are all generated, and I just added these little arrows and the text on top using Pixelmator, which is a bit like um, Photoshop. And here we go, we're horizontally sliding at the moment, and this is actually a columns block. I'll show you how I did this. And there's another slide. And we're going horizontally at the moment, but in a minute we're going to go vertically. So this one actually slides vertically down here. And again, this slides vertically. It's really quite cool. <laughs> I've sort of in love with it. Uh, and this is horizontal sliding until we finish the story. So I've used it to kind of mock up a web website that's telling this little story. And this is the plugin that lets us do this. It's called WebEx. I hadn't heard of it before. It's only got about 100 plus installations. It was last updated a couple of months ago. It has only five star reviews, only a few reviews because it's not very, it's not being used very much, but actually it's got 12, 12 reviews, which is pretty good for a plugin that hasn't been downloaded a massive amount. It has a free version, which it describes here. It also um, claims to have a pro version, but I can't find the pro version. I've actually emailed the developers to find out well, what's happening with the pro version. Is it available? I can't find it anywhere on the internet. But let's get into how you actually use it. Okay, there are three things to understand. Very simple things, but once you understand these, it will make working with this plugin incredibly easy. The first one is the structure of it. I'm going to try and draw a picture for you. So essentially what we've got at the top level, you have the main block, the WebEx block up here. And you can only have one of those per page. So just one per page. That's the maximum you can have. Now within that, you can have sections and you can have as many sections as you like on the, on the page. Uh, and a section essentially it's like a container block. Let me write that in for you. Now within a section, you must have at least one slide, uh, one slide block. So you have one slide, but you can have multiple slides within each section. Okay, like so. But if you add multiple slides within a section, I think this is correct, they will always slide horizontally. So if you just want a horizontally sliding website, you just add multiple slides like so and on and on, no limit how many you can create. Now within a slide, you can put any Gutenberg blocks you like. So columns blocks, cover blocks, anything you like, but the slide block also has its own settings, which I'll show you, but you can do things like change the background and you can add a background image and you can do some other cool stuff in there as well. But you can have multiple sections within this main block. Now remember, you can only have one of these per page. So you can have multiple sections with, again, they have to have slides within them. But if you add multiple sections, they will scroll vertically. So if you just want a vertically scrolling website, you would just add one section with one slide, okay, which you would show, and then another section with one slide, and then another section with one slide, and that would just scroll vertically. If you just want a horizontally um, scrolling website, you would add one section with multiple slides within it, <clears throat> excuse me, but you can combine them as well. So you can have, like I'm gonna show you in my demo, you can have uh, a section with maybe two slides within it. So those those will scroll horizontally and then another section which will scroll vertically. Okay, so that's the first key thing to understand. The second key thing to understand is that you have to set a page template and WebEx comes with its own page template, which I will show you. But if you don't set this, it won't work. It's very simple to do. It's just one click. 
but it's key to getting this plugin to work. The third thing, sort of key concept to understand is that you can create a menu for it with your pages in. So you can still add, and it comes with its own WebEX menu, which is very simple to configure. You do that in menu settings. Again, I'll show you that, but don't panic if you start building this and you think, well, how am I gonna show the other pages on my website? You can do that by adding a menu. Step number one is to install the WebEX plugin, this one down here. Just go to plugins, click on add new at the top here. Uh, search for the WebEX plugin and install and activate it. Right, let's build this page. So we're gonna start by clicking on the blue block inserter sign up here. Just scroll down and what we're after is this little block here, the WebEX for Gutenberg block, that one just there. Click on that and it's gonna load it into the page and I'm gonna click on the list view because that is gonna show us the hierarchy. Now the list view will show us over on the right here. This has lots and lots of settings, this top level block. Now remember we can only have one of these blocks in any page, but we can have multiple sections and multiple slides within each section. The first thing I recommend you do is click on the page tab over here, go down to template and make sure you have selected in this drop down the WebEX template. Click select that. Now don't panic if it carries on saying default. Um, it might do, but don't worry. And this here, you see it's saying default. It's actually using the WebEX template. So I'm going to click on the top level block over here, which comes with loads of settings, which I'm not going to go through today because I would bore you rigid, but you can do things like change the styles and the designs and how they quick, how quickly they slide, all sorts of stuff in there. But we're going to build this page pretty quickly. And we're going to start by adding a section. And if we look at the list view over here on the left, we've got now two blocks. We've got the top level container block. Within that, we've got a section. Now over here on the right, there is this important note here that says you should give each section its own name otherwise you might have problems so I'm going to call that section one like so there's this other option here which I'll quickly explain which is continuous horizontal what that means is if you have 10 slides within one section and you get to slide number 10 you can go back to number one by clicking right otherwise if you don't have that it means they have to, you have to go 987 all the way back that is an option for you it's up to you how you do that Let's add a slide though, this is where it gets interesting. We've added a slide because every section needs a slide. Now we can put any Gutenberg block we like within each slide. So I could just you know, type and put a paragraph block in here or a cover block, any block I like. But each slide also comes with its own options to customize it. They're all over on the right here. I think probably the most important ones are this one here, which is slide content position. So you've got three options. You've got top, middle and bottom over here. I'm not going to worry about that for my first slide, but I will when I actually put some content in it. The second most important option is you can add a background to it. Okay, so I'm going to add a background image to my slide. I've already got some images I've already got up here and that will just load that background image in. Now again, I could put some text in here if I wanted to. So you can have a background image with text on. And let's just publish that and see what we've got because it you'll see it'll actually take up the full screen of the site, which is kind of cool. So if we add another slide within that section, remember, let's click on the list view up here, that slide will slide horizontally, but if we have multiple sections, those slides will slide vertically. But we're gonna add another slide in. So make sure you click on the section option over here in the list view, click on add slide. And again, we can do whatever we like with this, but all I'm gonna do for this slide is add a background image and let's go with this one here okay now we've got two slides so they should slide horizontally okay rock and roll which is great and we can go back and forth between the two which is great and i can add a third slide in here which i'm going to do quickly so let's use the list view just to make sure we're doing this correctly so now we've got the top level container we've got a section with two slides in which are going to by default slide uh, horizontally so let's add another slide in here and I'm actually going to put some text in this slide. Let's add the columns block. And I'm just going to put some dummy text in here really, really quickly. And here's a good tip for you when you're adding content within these. Is Now I'm using the 2022 theme. And if you group them, they will add some natural padding around them. So they'll style properly. The other thing I'm going to do is click on the slide in the list view over here. Come down here. And remember, we talked about this a few minutes ago, slide content. I'm going to set that to middle and let's have a look what happens there. Now what we should have, we should have three horizontally sliding slides and there's our text that we put in there. But again, we could put any Gutenberg block we like within that, um, within that slide. So what we're going to do to finish off, just to show you this, is we're going to click on the list view 
and we're going to add a section. Now, make sure you click on the top level block here because then you'll be add, able to add a section down here. Add a section. Now, remember this section is going to scroll vertically because it's actually a section, um, but we need to add the slide in within it. So let's click on that to add the slide. And all we're going to do for this slide is add another background image. So I'm gonna go down here and click on background, background image, and let's choose, which one should we choose? Let's choose this one here, okay? And that slide now should be a vertically sliding slide because we've added that as a section. And remember sections, multiple sections scroll vertically. How cool is that? Okay. But if I wanted them all to scroll horizontally, I could literally go back here, click on list view. And let's go into this section and just show you what we've got in the list view here. So you see we've got two sections and four slides. But if I drag this little slide up here into this section, get rid of that initial section, we've just got four slides within one section. So now we should have four horizontally sliding sections, which we do. My favorite transition trick on this plugin is down here. So per slide, when I set the background, you have this option, which is to either make it scroll down here or fix. Now fix is really cute. Let me show you what happens. What will happen is when I transition between the slides, the first slide will actually stay fixed, but the second slide kind of overlaps it like so. I think it's really neat. So that again is an option for you. The plugin also comes with its own cute little menu. Just create your menus as you normally would in WordPress and then go down here to menu settings down at the bottom just here and you'll see there's a brand new menu which the plugin adds called WebEx menu. All you have to do is add your menu items and select that and save it and then when you go back to your site you will have a little menu in the top left up here with those menu items in it. I hope you have loads of fun with that plugin. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you can hit that like button down below now because it really, really, really does help spread the word of the channel. So big thank you if you can hit that like button now. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button below and hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon.